we just tell you. Things come and go. Money comes and goes. Teachers come and go. Sometimes there's greater forces at work than we're aware of. You know what I mean? You just gotta roll with those fucking punches. You know? Bobby. Damn. Just got really deep on me there. You know, I get my philosophies on every once in a while. Dropping gems. Love it. to the Channel Tunnel, Seb Delaney is in front and we are en route to catch up with Paul from Supercars of London and Sam from Seen Through Glass. So, on the road now, we're heading to the Channel Tunnel in Folkestone to get on the underwater train, uh, which is gonna spit us out in France and then today we're ultimately heading to Germany. So it's quite a long drive, I think all in all today we'll be on the road for about 14 hours, but it's, it, this is the start of our Top Marks Euro Tour. Cannot wait! All right, here we are, arriving at the Channel Tunnel. I gotta figure out how to enter in my details and things on this thing. Never goes well. Never goes well. well that's the first time I have seen the beast, and it is glorious. Hello. He's got the beaver pumping strong. Make it looks incredible. <laughs> So the in initial thought process was that I was going to also wrap my car true blood, but in a turn of events, I decided at the very last minute to wrap it matte metallic blue. And I'll get in the way of it. What do you think? It's you so think? cool. It's so cool. And the black badges at the back black just badges are working well. Yeah. Bl oh, yellow calipers. Yellow calipers. What's wrong with your brightness on your screen? Well, your it's, battery it's, saving. it's so bright that I can't. It's, it's actually sunny for a change. It looks like your phone's off but, to me. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's definitely on there. <laughs> Alright, we have finally arrived at the Channel Tunnel. Paul is here, Seb is here, and Sam is up front in this loud F type. Let's go board this thing. Dropping gems. Love it. That was about the shortest channel journey ever. Uh, yeah, so gonna spit us out now in France. I now have to go into Calais uh, to tie up some loose ends. My uh, bank off being idiots and for some reason I have blocked my card because my traveling never happened before ever. So thanks bank. So I've got to go into Calais now, sort all of that out, and now we can finally hit the road. See you tomorrow. So obviously now I've hit France, uh, I've brought my phone case uh, just in case um, I decide to throw my phone out of the window again. Love it. decided to be a complete moron and for whatever reason when I decided to buy a sausage sandwich they blocked my card no idea why uh, yeah so what what I thought was gonna be a really smooth ride into France it's a repeat we have a, we have a the radio Roger Dodger uh, what's it my jiggy uh, uh, yes, yeah, so what started off as a smooth journey 
um, in France has effectively repeated itself. And um, I've got to go into Calais now in order to sort out my card with my bank. Not ideal, not smooth, but basically it's just the same as last time. Last time I decided to throw my phone out of the window, this time my card's been declined. Good times. Love you, France. We found the bank in Calais. Wish me luck, I'm gonna try and get this sorted out. What is it every time I enter France, something goes wrong? Last time, it was my phone out of the window. This time, this time, it's my bank card. My fault, I ordered a new card before I went away. Upon ordering the new card, my old card got cancelled. Good timing. Conveniently, my girlfriend flies out to meet us in Innsbruck tomorrow, and the card has arrived at home. So she's gonna fly out with the card, reactivate it tomorrow, job done. Last time there was this sort of resolve. I had beef jerky, sun was shining, new phone, and I went, all good, this time, the sun is shining, there's no beef jerky, but the card is coming out tomorrow. So we're back on the road, we're gonna smash the ETA, cover some miles, forget about all that hassle, and enjoy the road. Let's do this! Typically I'm on the road, so I can't check it out properly. So tonight when I get to the hotel, which is still another 10 hours drive, I'm gonna have to check it out and hopefully re-upload it. So anyone watching this video, if you haven't already seen it yet, be sure to check back and check out the video of the GT3 being wrapped. It is super in-depth, super detailed. So if you're inter interested in that, that side of things, definitely check out the video. It should be back online by now. We're watching uh, Seb trying to park this, this car. Is his Funnily enough, this is the smallest of a lot of them. Don't crash. Full lock now. Full lock on now, bro. <laughs> lock it over, full uh, lock. Mate, do you want to park in Paris? All right, we have just arrived at our glamorous stop for the evening. We do, to be fair, have a pretty long journey from here on out. We've been driving now for about seven hours and uh, yeah, we've got about another three hours before we reach Austria. So we're gonna uh, dip in now to uh, Burger King and then head on on the road and hopefully get there before 11 o'clock. All right, we are back from our glamorous dinner that was Burger King. But to be fair, I've been on the road so long I would eat a dead rat. So. Three and a half hours now to Austria. Bit of a trek, sun starting to go down. But here's a Seb. I can see, I can see a Seb. <laughs> Let me wind this. Seb, yeah. tell the lovely people what's happening. 
So, because I'm only 12 years old, I need my sleep. And basically, I'm, I'm knackered. So, I've Seb like, has uh, basically persuaded Sam to drive his car to uh, Austria for him while you sleep in the comfy confines of the yeah, Jag. I know. Good not, business not man here. Yeah, yeah. That's a good man right there. Yeah, anyways, enjoy. Cheers, babe. Just made it to the hotel, it's been a hell of a drive. Shmi has welcomed us to the hotel. Now we've got to dump our bags, find some parking. It's going crash, man. It is definitely beer time. All right, and that finally concludes the evening. We have arrived. We are with a lineup of some fantastic cars which are gonna be joining us for the rest of this trip down to Monte Carlo. Let me just show you these really quickly. Of course, we all know this one. Tim Schmee arrived a bit earlier than us. Really cool, brand new BMW M2 arrived. This abbed RS6R running 735 brake. Obviously, Paul and Sam's car's here. And me and Sam parked up here for the rest of the night. Yeah, so this full lineup here is gonna be joining us for the next few days and we're gonna rock up at Top Marks with a hell of a bang. But for now, it's goodbye from me because I've got to hit the bar and hit the pillow. See you next time. Ciao.